Hi, welcome everyone. Um, this is Devorah and Meira, and Meira is going to be filling in for Hannah Mason tonight. I'm just doing the recording. So Meira Ranan. Okay, thank you, Devorah. So I just want to begin by saying that I really want to dedicate this um, meditation for Ga'ula, which means the end of war for peace, for the revelation of Hashem, and especially now for the protection of our soldiers, because there's very fierce sighting, fighting going on right now in Aza. And um, my grandson, my grandson, my son-in-law, <laughs> Netanel Yoshua ben Eva, is going into Aza today. And we all know people, we all know friends and children and sons and grandsons. So just may they all be protected. So I just wanna begin by saying that on Monday night, there's going to be a global meeting of women from all over the world, nine o'clock Israel time for Gaula, uh, like a real call out for Gaula. And we're gonna post it on, on all our groups. And, um, so I just want to begin by saying that um, behind me is a painting by my husband. I'm going to move out of the way. It's called, <laughs> it's called Bishvili. Bishvili, that the world was created for me. But we all know that the world was created for me, but I'm just dust and ashes, right? But on the other hand, I think that we really need to believe and especially now when we're being called upon more than ever to pray for Ga'ula. This is an auspicious time, ladies. There is um, a Rav who has said that these days, all of Hanukkah is like the heavens are open and it's really a time for us to really um, to pray, to, to, to increase our energy and really, really, Bishvilini Baolam, that the world was created for me and what I do, what I say, and my prayers truly make a difference. So what I would like to do today is um, a Ritzo meditation going up, and then we're going to do a Chash and Amal when we're up, and then we're going to show, we're going to come back down. And what I would, what I, and we need to, we're going to use our imaginations and um, we're gonna base this on two teachings, one by the Svadamet and one by the Piazetzner Rebbe. Okay, so the Piazetzner Rebbe in his Sefer, Chovot L'Tal Midim, after nine chapters of, of telling his students how to pray, how to pray, how to pray, in the nine chapter, ninth chapters, this is what he says. If it's still difficult for you to really pray from the bottom of your heart, like imagine, we're going to be using the power of our imagination. How you stand before Hashem and how your soul, that you're really on fire because you know, Hashem fills the whole world with his glory. But we're in a Gashmi world and our Gashmi eyes cannot see. But he says, this is what he tells us, look up to heaven and meditate and really, really focus your thoughts on how you are standing on this side of heaven, but on the other side of heaven, which is another world altogether, there are malachim, there are angels, there are seraphim, and there are all the souls of the holy avot mm -hmm. and the nevi'im and the tzaddikim. And, and in the midst of all this is the kisei hakavod and Hashem hagadol hakadosh vahanora alav shochen. And Hashem is dwelling upon this kisei hakavod surrounded by angels. And even though it's hidden in this world, but Hashem, if you look up and you look up and just pray and imagine, just imagine that you are standing before the Kisei HaKavod and praying before Hashem. And I really love to use this visualization 
going outside in the garden and looking up and just imagining that on, in, on the other side of heaven, there's Hashem's holy throne with the angels and the tzaddikim. And the, and the Piazetz Nerebi says that Hashem really loves these prayers and he looks back at us. So this is a perfect visualization to really pray for Geula, whatever Geula means to you. But we know that Geula is a time there'll be no more war and Hashem's glory and Hashem's love and Hashem's light will be revealed. We'll see it. Okay, so I'd like to lead us in a guided meditation. And Devora, if you could please um, share the screen. Hmm. Okay, so the Svat Emet says that we know every day Hashem is recreating the world anew. And that every day the Svat Emet says Hashem sends down a ladder to us. And through this ladder, we can climb up. And so I'm going to lead you in a guided med meditation, in a short, in a guided visualization, in a short meditation. And then we're going to really pray for Geula, and then we're going to come back down. Okay, so I invite you now all to just close your eyes. And just feel how your body is supported by the chair that you're sitting on. Let's just take a couple of very, very slow, deep breaths. Inhaling deeply and exhaling deeply. Just take a moment to, everyone should mute themselves. And, and, and just feel, feel and imagine how you're, how you're surrounded by light on all sides. The Baal Shem Tov says, we can't pray properly until we first surround ourselves with light and we feel that light. So just imagine how your body is surrounded by light on all sides. And then take a couple of slow, deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling that light. Just feel if there's anywhere in your body that you're feeling any tension, any constriction. And then on the exhale, Oof, let it just let it go like gray smoke. And then inhaling new light, or Hadash, healing light, just bringing it into your body. Let's just take a couple of slow deep breaths, letting go of tension, inhaling healing light. And now we're just gonna use our imagination. Just imagine, what would it look like if Hashem was sending down a ladder, of a ladder from heaven, sending down this ladder to you, a ladder of light? What would this ladder look? Just imagine this ladder slowly coming down from heaven. And imagine how you, with your whole body, we're not leaving our bodies behind. We're taking our whole body and imagine that you can slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, climb up, climb up this ladder of light, this ethereal ladder of light. And as you slowly move up, step by step, at each step, you're letting go of any worries, any doubts, any fears. So just imagine you're slowly, slowly, rung by rung, moving up this ladder of light 
letting go any heaviness in your body, letting go of anything that you need or want to let go of. And just imagine how this ladder, this beautiful ladder of light, through this ladder, we can climb out of the realm of the earth and we can climb into heaven. So just imagine and feel how we're moving upwards and upwards and upwards out of the door of earth into the blue expanse of the heavens. The Rambam says a person cannot pray properly until they empty their hearts and imagine that they're in heaven and the Shlina is before them. And as we lift our eyes upwards, imagine you're tilting your head upwards. Imagine what would it look like, this kise hakavod that's up above your head? surrounded by angels, all the holy souls, all the tzaddikim that are here to help us. They're here to help us. And Hashem gets such pleasure from us lifting our hearts, our empty hearts, our minds, our souls. We're lifting ourselves up, looking up towards Hashem. And this is giving Hashem great pleasure. And so we're just going to meditate for five minutes. Just imagine the light, the light of light and the light of healing, the light of Geula. What would that light of Geula look like? The light of Gula is the light of peace. It's the light of light. It's the light of healing. It's the light of joy. It's the light of Ahava. And just for a moment, what does this light feel like? What does this light look like? What does Gula look like? What does Ka'ula feel like? We're just going to meditate for five minutes. Focus your mind on this light, this light of healing, this light of love, this light of love, this light of Ka'ula that is surrounding you, that's all around you, that's above you. We're gonna meditate for five minutes on this light. If you wish, you can put the letters of Hashem's name, the Yud and the He and the Vav and the He on the Kisei HaKavod. You could meditate on the Yud and the He and the Vav and the He or meditate on this light this light of healing that's not only surrounding you, but it's filling you, every cell of your body. And you are empty. You are Ganus within this light. So we're just going to take five minutes now and meditate.
Just breathe out slowly, slowly one time. And now we're going to turn our meditation, our hush, into a ma. And for five minutes, we're going to pray. We're going to scream. We're going to call out to Hashem. Atzaka. With words, without words. Ana Hashem Hoshiana. Ana Hashem Hotzlichana. Aneinu Hashem Aneinu. Just, we're going to pray, pray, pray to Hashem for five minutes now. For Geula, we're going to storm the heavens and beg Hashem, and beg Hashem for Geula. We're praying for all the soldiers. We're praying for all the hostages. We're praying for Rafua Shlema, for all the wounded soldiers. We're praying for Rafua, for all the, for everyone who needs a Rafua. We're praying for personal Gaula. We're praying for the Gaula of Am Yisrael. We'll just take, let's take one more minute. Just feel, feel your body filled with light. Feel the light and the energy that we're generating as a group. Let's just take a moment and send that light and send that energy towards Aza, towards the fierce battles that are happening now. Let's just send our soldiers light and love and energy and prayers. Let's send this light and this love and this healing to all the hostages and pray for their speedy release and for their refuge lema. Okay. Take a slow, deep breath. We're going to come back down the ladder. So just slowly, slowly, slowly. Imagine that ladder. That ladder is there for you. You can slowly, slowly come back down. Rung by rung. Bringing the light down with you. Bringing the light back down with you. Coming back down slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, stepping downwards. 
out of the realm of heaven into the realm of earth and back into the chair that you're sitting on. And just take a moment to feel yourself in the room that you're in, supported by the chair that you're sitting on. And feel the light in every cell of your body. And just know that many times today, every day, you can climb back up this ladder, looking up towards the Kisei Kavod, and begging Hashem, begging Hashem for Geula now. And so take a slow, deep breath. And when you're ready, just slowly, slowly open your eyes. Just focus on the light in your room and your body just here and now. So Devora, can you um can you share us together? Uh, <laughs> okay, hi ladies. Does anyone want to share anything? I know we did it quickly, like usually in our group we take an hour to do this, but um does anyone want to share anything? What is Gaula for you? I just want to say that this I this thought of a ladder sending down every day, you know, is really just it's so beautiful. And to, for us to like really, you know, incorporate that that reality into our life. It's really very special, Mayor, from the right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, the the Kiyos Netzner Rebbe has a lot more to say about. If you want to look in the Sefer Chavot Tal Midim in the ninth chapter, it's so beautiful what he writes about it. Like it, he really says that Hashem get gets a, a lot of tanug when we do this. Like he gets a lot of pleasure from it. So before we part ways, does anyone else want to share with them one word, two words? What is Geula for you? What this is Devora. What came to mind was me, was was clarity of truth, of Emmet, and and that everybody who is so confused by the confusion and the chaos will see the Emmet and and will all draw close to each other and 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 it'll. It'll, it'll be peace because we'll all see that, but we'll all still be ourselves. Mm, amen. Amen. Can you hear us song? Amen, amen. Does anyone else want to just share Gaula? Leia, Lori, what's Gaula for you? <laughs> oh, you're muted. You're muted, Leia. Wait, you're yeah, muted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Um, so we were just at a at a healer of ours, and he was talking about uh, Nisim that are going to be at, at Hanukkah, and it's going to be a process, and we're going to see really Nisim for Pesach. Amen. So I asked him, do you mean like that's going to be Gula? Is that it? And he said, he said, I don't know what Gula is. How do we know? Is it a process? Is it a person? Mashiach? Is it a, um, is it a time? Is it, you know, how do we define Gula? So I don't know, but I, I hear what Devor is saying. And also I just see like, you know, like De'a Hashem is filling the, filling the world. So there's no questions anymore. It's so clear. It's clear. And 
I don't know how we know the Hashem if it's a light or if it's just like you just said a clarity. Um, but there's no more stuff in the world anymore. You know, all those noises and things that get in our way. It's just, I don't know, it's something very beautiful and something very clear and allows us to just be totally connected with Emes, Hashem. Yeah. Amen. Can you hear it? Leah, you're so surrounded by light. It's beautiful. Yes. I have a window in back of me, Ken, so I'm against the wall. Ken. But when we finish, I'm going to go look out the window. It's like, <laughs> go I think the Ula is going to look a bit like this, this like light that's going to be surround us, and we're going to see it with such a clarity, right? right. Yeah. Mamash, thank you. It's so beautiful. I also love going up that ladder and knowing that it's always there. You know, and if we could just go up for a second, it doesn't have to be a whole long right. you know thing it could be like that right. right 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 thank you does anyone it's else like part of the stop you know it's like we could do the stop and part of it could be going up the ladder and coming back even just for a second right so thank you for that mm -hmm. thank you Leia. I I was, say, yeah. yeah first of all um based on what you, you the question that you just said or asked the um the healer i think it's a process I think because it's been a process all along. It can't be in a second. Right. I mean, something can change in a second, but it has to be a process. I mean, it's not going to be, it's not magic. You know, it's a, it's a deep, right. deep process. And, you know, the, the idea that, um, that Hakamata Medina is Hitrata de Geula. So we're in a process. We're, we're in, a, in a process. Right. And, and for me, Geula is the end of the pain and suffering. It's just, Oh, it's man. just so over the top I feel it like right now as I'm even saying it it's so thick it's so heavy right so we have to really pray ladies pray 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 that it lightens up soon as soon as possible and as I'm sweet in. as possible as easy as possible okay Devorah thank you very very much and um, Hanukkah Sameach everyone May we see, uh, may amen. we see miracles. May we see miracles. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen.